Hello and good morning. Yes, you're looking at my 2023 version 4 Model Y. It just got the version 12 full self-driving update this evening and I installed it this morning. I'm headed out to a bunch of uh, stuff north of me here, 40 miles north and then several other stops on the way. Let's go. It's uh, cold. Big weather front came through and it's cold. So let's go. If you're new to Teslas, and maybe you've heard this and that about it, ignore most of what you heard. I tell you, a lot of that is FUD, fear, uncertainty, and doubt, as Tesla cars and software dominate the auto industry. Today, we're looking at version 12.3. This is a software package that allows me to drive from place to place based upon the location on your navigation. So once I get down the road a little bit and get squared away, we'll start our adventure from the city of Columbus, and that'll take us all the way to our destination at AB Tech. It's a college located in Asheville. We are good to go. We're leaving at just about 80% in the battery and I've reset the trip meters. Let's hit it. There is one additional parameter with the new autopilot. Come down here and we look here and it says automatic set speed offset. If we look at it, it basically says it will set the speed based upon traffic flow, speed limit, environmental conditions. So yeah, it's what we want because we don't want to be doing exactly the speed limit and having everybody going flying by. All right, that's the only parameter that we have to set that's any different. All right, I can't wait. Yeah, <laughs> let's enable it. And of course you have to keep your hand on the wheel. Oh yeah, we're going around a corner, what the heck? Oh yeah, well anyway, um, you gotta keep your hand on the wheel until we get to uh, above uh, level four, I think you can climb in the back and go to sleep. But this is level two autopilot, which is just fine. Uh, the driver's in control. The car does what the driver wants. It's akin to an airline pilot autopilot where the pilot monitors the airplane, where it's going, what the autopilot is doing, very much the same here in the Tesla. All right, well, as you can see, we've got a lot of windy roads. We are running version 12, full self-driving. That would be 12.3. So as we wind our way through back roads here, the autopilot is doing its thing. I'll pick you up as we get down the road from time to time. And at this point in time, uh, the uh, autopilot will drive the entire way all the way to EB Tech, 42 miles. Upcoming, we have a few complex turns. Again, Blue Cruise and the other automation systems just do not work on back roads. They are highway enabled, full self-driving or pilotless or co-pilot or whatever they're calling them. Uh, and uh, it is not Tesla full self-driving. The only requirement I have is my hand is on the wheel and occasional rotational torque. It's a four-way stop. Come to a complete stop, of course. And then we turn down the road here. It's 25. And with the uh, software I enabled, it usually does five over or whatever. Again, I'm not driving. It says full self-driving. Yeah, you won't find that in any other vehicles except Teslas. It's kind of interesting. You can look here on the animation. You can see the blinker. And, of course, you can see the blinker on the car in front of us here.
This is the town of Columbus. It's a little town north of us here. It's usually the jumping off point to get on to Interstate 26. The uh, camera that monitors my attentiveness to look outside is located right here. It monitors me, what I'm doing. If I'm not paying attention, it will warm me. If I'm not rotating the wheel from time to time, putting a little torque on it, that's rotational torque. Uh, the car doesn't realize what I'm doing. And of course, we make a right here. This is a, a roundabout. Oh, sees this car coming and it stops and another car coming and it stops all right and we're off like a shot still think still thinks it's 25 here but that's okay there's nobody behind us uh, somebody's coming up now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, give it a little oompy oomp because there is no speed limit behind us. So uh, it would normally tell us the on-ramp speed here, but apparently it's uh, not there. I've got my foot on the accelerator a little bit. Okay, now we're at 65, so it's happy. And it has control. This is an interesting uh, on-ramp here. There are vehicles... Um, that come from Highway 74 that meet up with 26 here. Getting up to highway speed here now. It's getting over. We're going to have to get one more over. The autopilot is never driven uh, in this vehicle. It got loaded last night. I, of course, run version 11, but all that code gets erased when they put in the new code. All right, I'll pick you up as we move on down the road. I certainly don't want it to be boring here. We're up on uh, Interstate 26, headed to the west, which at this point is headed north. We have 27 miles to the uh, map anomaly at Long Shoals Road, and it wants us to get off and get back on. We'll ignore that. We may have to disengage because uh, full self-driving will want to follow the map directions, and uh, that is not what we want to do. But we'll see what happens. Just going up the grade here now. It's called Salute a Grade. We just passed a slow truck. There's construction up here, and it's putting us over in the middle lane. Perma construction on 26. They're uh, replacing an overpass up here, so it will uh, give us a wider uh, highway here. And they need to uh, exchange this old bridge for a new bridge. So that's what all this construction is here. day. No clouds. Cool though. 38 degrees. But it is a uh, brisk uh, spring day. It's going through some construction here. Of course some people don't think it's construction speed for them.
it's uh, these trucks get really slow coming up out of this hole here. You would eventually figure it out, but I didn't want it to uh, get stuck behind that uh, moving van that just crossed over in the back here. stay up with traffic but I want to see how the autopilot deals with these little sharp bends like this and uh, of course normal autopilot deals with them just fine what you're more worried about is the doofus in the left lane not turning fast enough to stay in their lane now like this one here right watch that's 20 degrees to the left but Looks okay. So far, so good. All right, we had enough of this. We're going around. Yeah, I did just fine hanging out in the right lane. Now, here's another chicane. Let's see what happens with the trucks and everything. Uh, okay, no problem. The car handled the chicane just fine, and the uh, truck stayed in his lane, so that's a good thing. All right, we're coming up to our uh, Long Shoals Anomaly. This is a, a Google anomaly. You've seen it on my other videos. I'll show you when we get a little closer. Don't know why it does what it does, but it does. If that makes any sense. All right, I'm gonna get up here a little bit and get over a pile of traffic behind us here. Turn 
get back on the highway. Uh, that's not going to happen. Let's see what it really wants. Nope. Yep, it was going to follow the nav for sure. So, nope. No, watch it. Watch the map. Watch it. So there's a Google anomaly on the map, and uh, of course the, the full self-driving will follow the navigation. Since it doesn't really know where we're going, it knows how to drive, but not where we're going. It was going to get off and follow it and do it. So beware of a uh, map anomaly and see for whatever reason it's uh, doing something. T-Force Freight. Go, man, go. 53-footer left lane from Indiana. I guess uh, 55 is not his thing either. Mm. Just coming up to a little minor chicane here. No problem. Alright, well I know the lane over to the left here is a better lane, so I'll just use the blinker and get us over there. We would have figured it out up here, but we'll just uh, help it out a little bit here. This is a uh, off-ramp that uh, has an on-ramp uh, coming down here on the right. Looks like nobody's there, at least next to us. what's called Amboy Road. It uh, takes us kind of the back way to AB Tech where we're going today. see it may be hard to see here but I'll blow it up digitally you can see that uh, we are in uh, auto max mode which means depending upon the uh, other vehicles and the conditions it will set our speed which is setting it to 36 looks like we got some kind of construction over here it's seeing it so it's slowing down a little bit also sees the yellow light. It also sees the workman. Come on, boys, what are we doing? Got six of you. Come over to my house if you got nothing to do. I got a lot to keep me busy. And we leave the uh, stop sign smartly, right up to the speed limit. That's a new feature with full self driving. A lot of the version 11 would start out kind of slow and uh, kind of creep up to speed. This one uh, gets to it, which is really a handy feature. Coming up to our uh, turn here, go up over the French Broad River. It's one of the only rivers that flows north, believe it or not. Okay, and this is an interesting one. It's, um, it's yield for us. And it's uh, stopped for everybody else. So, uh, which way are you going? Come on. Okay, I have to disengage because it wanted to drive over the berm, which it did. Uh, here we go. So, that's one disengagement. Got a little confused at that turn. So, here we are. It was obviously a uh, screwy thing. It was a light with a uh, right turn yield, and uh, it was confused. It may have thought the berm was uh, not a, uh, a physical berm, but it was. Getting close now to our destination, just a little over half a mile. AB Tech is the local community uh, technical college here in the Asheville area. And we've 
we got an appointment today. And we got a bicyclist up here on the right. And uh, it's going to go over the double yellow, which is the thing to do. And then we're going to get in the left lane here. Blinkers on. Let's get in here behind this uh, truck. We do have a flashing yellow arrow, so we have to watch for oncoming traffic. But it's got some cajones, this software. So it uh, just drove up here into this little tiny uphill deal with a dirty 30 mile an hour sign here. We're still in auto mode. Say over there, golly, what's the matter with stupid people? How hard is it to stay in your lane? There happens to be a, a couple EV chargers here on the right. So we're here in this uh, parking area. And uh, here we go. Everybody's getting to class here, so they're on an all-fired hurry because most likely they're late. We're going to disengage when we get up here. Golly, some sharp turns for sure. And we'll get around this turn and we'll disengage. We're, we'll be close to where we're going. All right, there we go. Well, there you have it. I'm going to do my appointment and uh, we'll be done here soon and uh, head to the next location. It's uh, about halfway down to where we need to go. And uh, it'll be uh, part highway and part interstate. I've arrived at 59%. My appointment is done. I'm just leaving AB Tech, running autopilot to our next destination. Plans have changed over me a little bit. I was gonna go to one appointment and uh, they uh, aren't ready. So I'm gonna go have some lunch with my buddy Richard. I'm gonna drive down to a place called Flat Rock and uh, that will get us uh, down by Richard and uh, I will uh, pick him up and then we are going back up towards the Asheville area, actually Skyland off Airport Road and we're going to have uh, some Elena's Mexican food for lunch today. And then from there uh, it's close to my appointment that got delayed so I'll go there with Richard. You can sit in the lobby or wherever and uh, we will uh, get that done and then uh, take Richard home and then head home. That's uh, the new uh, plans today. Full self-driving is driving as we speak. This is a screwy intersection, which you can kind of see. going to shoot this gap here between this car and the other and we now have a green so that's a good thing here we go this is a fun fact uh, if you look over here this used to be a um, one of those uh, round houses and uh, they've dismantled it now but it's uh, still a railroad yard, but it used to have a roundhouse on it, which was very cool. Okay, here we are. some high curbing here on this uh, section. Getting back on Interstate 26 here now. This is where we got off. This should be interesting. The uh, on-ramp is on the left side of the highway up here. 
So we need to speed up and merge into the traffic. So let's see how that works. All right. I can see it looks clear. And we merge right onto the highway. Just southbound now on Interstate 26, entering the construction. Just keeping up with traffic here. See how the overpass is doing today. Yeah, it looks like they've met in the middle and they're uh, getting ready to bond the two. It's kind of cool. Pilots handling the uh, wide loads all over the roads here really well. Pretty sure it won't decide to pass them. We just don't have enough space here to make that happen. Maybe we do up here. Let's see what happens. Yeah, it looks pretty wide here, so let's see what happens here. southbound on Interstate 26 going through the construction the other way. Unfortunately, we got to head north or fortunately, we're heading uh, to uh, Mexican lunch and uh, it should be really great. See, you don't see these cars very often. Nice uh, legacy uh, some kind of a hot rod of some kind. Let's see what it says. What is this thing? Chrysler of some kind? Huh. Interesting. We're about ready to get off the interstate here. Getting off an upward road. Getting towards Richard's house. I've just picked a point going down Long Shoals Road, just kind of show you uh, how it does. Now let's see how this goes. This is a twisty, turny road. Richard, no, I will be back. This is a uh, test. I'm off the highway now and um, going to see if I can drive all the way to Richard's house here. Sorry for the blurriness. Oh, 
was cutting the corner and saw the other car and moved over. It's the right thing to do. Now Richard lives on a dirt road. It's going to be interesting. Just like that. Okay. Now, we're on a dirt road. And I'm going to set, it says it's in an auto mode. So it's only going to uh, go as fast as it thinks it is going to. We're on an unmarked, no lines, dirt road. And uh, autopilot doesn't care. This is version 12. We've left Richards. We're on the way to lunch to Casa Torres. Say hi, Richard. Say hi, guys. Go have a good lunch. Looking forward to it. We're uh, I'm walking. I'm doing this because it's full self driving. <laughs> Richards uh, Model Three has FSD also, but I don't think you've received it yet, have you? I have not. Oh, okay. You'll probably get it soon. I'm. Uh, a few, it's 2018. I'm about. I don't know, four days behind you usually. Yeah. Anyway, you should arrive soon. But we're on FSD, as you guys know, and uh, we're going to get on 26 again and head north through the construction and then to lunch. That ought to be interesting. Uh, yeah. Because <laughs> this, this, they're doing our 26, and it is uh, absolutely terrible. Turning in six lane for part of it and eight lane to Asheville from Hendersonville. Yep. But they've got curly cues in the middle of it and it's a mess and everybody it's 45 zone everybody's running 65 yep richard's absolutely correct all right we're signaling to get on the interstate gotta stop since we got sheriff here next to us got the green Shows the right lane, which is the actual correct lane. You shouldn't be uh, going over a lane till you've entered the lane once you turn right. That's a law. Okay, let's see how it does here. Yes, it's polite. It uses its blinkers to get on the interstate. All right, well, here we are. Northbound now, we're actually westbound 26, headed north. See, it sees that truck wanting to come over here. Yeah, the autopilot tapped the brakes here a little bit because uh, the trucker couldn't keep it in the lane here. Anyway, we're back in uh, construction, headed to the north and uh, heading to lunch. <laughs> Autopilot's doing an awesome job, yeah. Just uh, driving with the traffic here and uh, staying in the lane and all those good things. Three miles now to the off ramp at Airport Road. Oh, yeah, so we're, Richard brought up the, um, the uh, idea. See, it just drives like no problem, and even in chicanes. The um, mode I put it in when I left this morning to stay with traffic is the mode we're currently running. So it, while it may be uh, higher than the posted speed limit, uh, it keeps with the rest of the traffic. So there you go. Come on. Oh, that's great. It took your <laughs> Yeah, a little anomaly. It wanted to take us off uh, at the rest stop. It would look like it was just another lane, but it didn't recognize the uh, small dots versus the other line. So these are large lane lines, and uh, on a typically an off ramp or an on ramp, you have a smaller set of dots, as you can see from here. It didn't recognize them as small dots and thought it was the right lane, so it was going to take us off there. 
Richard just brought up something. I would bet you dollars to donuts that the uh, software now can tell if you use the need to use the restroom. And it uh, took us to do just that. Now the proper lane to take us is in the outer lane. There's three lanes here and this is a solid. It probably won't cross it. And uh, we might, let's see, no. That's right, it's gonna make a right turn and then immediately get into the left turn, which is just fine. These are one of these uh, backwards uh, uh, overpasses. It's kind of an elongated, what do you call it, a roundabout. Right, go left, car. Yep. Uh, I had to think about it. it. Did good. Did well. The uh, lines during the construction are not all that good, so we'll, we'll see how it goes here. I think you did pretty good. Though. We do have an arrow, which is fine. The uh, guy in front of us is way off the sensor, so we, I uh, hope, tripped the sensor here now. And, uh, yep, sure did. See, we started moving as soon as it was green. That's excellent. I didn't then, hear the ding this way. Yeah, I didn't hear the ding either. Richard's Model 3 also dings, so. When, a, when the light turns green. Yeah, that's correct. All right, should turn into the uh, parking lot here. All right, right here is our parking <laughs> lot. And it didn't, so I don't know why, but hey, whatever. Okay, let's see if we can find a spot. And there you go, just no problem. Man, that was a good lunch. How was your lunch? Excellent. Yeah? Nice people too. Yeah. Beautiful. Yep, Casa Torre is a great place here in Skyland. All right, we set our next de designated uh, meeting here. Uh, we're headed back up on Interstate 26, uh, all the way up and uh, up to the ridge field. We're going to be heading up there now. Let's go. We're up here at uh, Airport Road. Turning right. Are we on self-driving now? Yes, we're on self-driving. All right, here goes. You uh, must know in North Carolina, you can turn right on red. Yeah. It knows everything. And it's going to take us down here to the um, interstate. Come like my friend, though. That's it. And just like that, full self-driving, yeah, 2.4 miles now to our next funky turn. You remember that coming up? Here is the anomaly, you see that? Yep. That anomaly is uh, a Google thing. So we're going to break out of full self-driving when we get there because uh, I don't need to get off the highway and get back on. Get back on. As we get closer to Long Shoals Roads, where the anomaly is, I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and take it out because it'll want us to get off here. Once we get by this off-ramp, then uh, we'll be good to go. No. No, you're too early, Dave. <laughs> Hold on. There is an anomaly in the map that wants you to get off and get back on at Long Shoals and 26, and uh, I stopped it from doing that. All right, we're back into full self-driving. There's all kinds of stuff going on there. So if you um, drive full self-driving and you break out from where it wants to go, it comes up with that little message here across the bottom. And it wants to uh, have you tell it verbally what happened and why uh, you took it out of full self-driving. So that's what I was doing. All right, as we drive here uh, up the highway, 
like we got trucks and motor homes and all kinds of junk up here in front of us. This is our turn. We're get off here. And it's 25, so it will adjust its speed appropriately. We hope. We hope. But or knowing autocross. that our Tesla, it's like our autocross. This is nothing. We could have done this at 50 or more. Tesla's uh, center of gravity is very low, so it uh, will turn and uh, do very well doing that. All right. Still on autopilot. And uh, right on red is uh, a normal occurrence here. All right, here we go. No, got one more car coming. It's gonna go, yep, it's gonna go. Here we go. Uh, there we go. There we go. Okay, and we accelerate smartly around the outer part of the turn. And here we are. And this is where it ends, so I'll stop the recording. All right, I'll see you guys in a minute as soon as we uh, finish up with this appointment. We are mobile. I picked up Richard. He uh, wandered around at the store. And so we'll set up navigation back to uh, Flat Rock and uh, we'll take Richard home. Let's see how this goes here. Let's see if I can set it up from memory. We are on autopilot, full self driving. We're going to get on uh, 26 south or east. It runs north and south through the Asheville area, so that's why I always say that. But it really is technically east and west. South is east. North is west. Just remember that. We're getting on the highway here. Crossing over the dotted bike lane. Getting on the highway. driving by the way the right lane is the correct lane when you turn right to get in all the way to the left lane is not, not what you want to do all right let's see how this works just fine guess where we are again yep going by the Blue Ridge Parkway we are continuing down Interstate 26 got a ways to go yet another four miles this is our exit up here yeah we came to a right turn here and moved from the right lane to the left where we need to be hey look moon's up we're now taking the back road to Richards here sorry for the fuzzy uh, picture Richard wanted to see if uh, this would make it to his house on full self-driving. Speed limit's 35, we're doing 29, which is uh, about right speed here. What do you think of this so far, Richard? Pretty good. Is it a little you know, better than the stock autopilot? It's about the same down here. We're going up here to the rough spot. We'll see what happens. All right, we're going to see where it thinks we're going. 
We have a S curve up the hill. It kind of drives mine crazy. Yeah, Richard says it dorks out his uh, standard autopilot. I'm pretty confident that full self driving will figure it it's out. Turn right here. Does it want you to drive you into the dirt? It takes me out in the middle lane and then drives me in the dirt up here. <laughs> yeah, big improvement for sure. Wow, I was out there. How about that, huh? Big, big improvement. improvement. Yeah. And just like that, <laughs> as you can see, we're still in uh, autopilot on this dirt road. And a lot faster than you drive it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're doing 16 here, and it's going to whine about right here when it can't see over the hill. Oh, no, I take that back. I take that back. This morning it uh, whined at the crest of the hill. I think it learned that it was okay to drive up here. So let's see where it goes. It's coming to a, a three-way dirt road here. Let's just see. Well, let's see Blue Cruise do that, or one of the other ADAS systems, and it's probably going to stop here. I don't know. Well, there you have it. Autopilot for the win. Leaving Richard's on the dirt road. Let's uh, head out. Here we go. Come on. There we go. You can go anytime. Let's go. I'll give it a little go here. See what it's going to do. Sure nobody's coming. Just drove off of the dirt road. Sorry about the fuzziness here. to the interstate here now. That was interesting. Drove around that uh, shadow in the road. I think it thought it was some kind of debris. It's pretty good. should be interesting. We've got a uh, whole pile of traffic, flashing yellow arrow to get up on the highway. So let's see what happens here now. I was going to go, but these other cars showed up. Let's see, we got a truck going here. 
Yeah, shoot the gap. How about that? All right, up on the interstate we go. Sees where it needs to go and accelerates up to speed and gets right in. Can't get any better than that. Six eastbound heading south. I've set the car to go with the traffic, and it is. We're now going down through Green River Gorge here on Interstate 26. left in the battery. We'll check all the stats once we arrive. What a nice day. Not a cloud in the sky. Just sit and see the moon. All right, here we are. Just coming around the roundabout at the bottom of the hill. Yeah, I'm not driving. We're going around a roundabout here, see? There's my hand. The other hand's holding the camera. There we go. Pretty cool stuff, I'd have to say. I think the Legacy Auto is screwed. I really do. There's no way that they'd ever do anything like this. So, don't count on it. All right, I'm in the town of Columbus. I'm gonna stop and get some errands done. I'll be back. All right, let's stop and get something from CVS. And uh, so now we are uh, headed towards the house. Stop signs way in the back, so it stops breast of the stop sign. And there are no uh, white stop sign lines here, so it just made up its own mind. Here we go. Come on. Well, got cross traffic coming. You got another car yet? All right, here goes. Yep, just like that. And we accelerate smartly. Okay, we got a red light here. Stop sign. Let's see what we got. No, oh, just turn green. Make the turn. Awesome. <laughs> what a loud piece of crap. <laughs> All of them 180 horsepower or something. Well, that's a good stop. We just, uh, you don't stop around here. You just roll through the uh, stop sign. However, uh, the law sits right up by those blue uh, tarps up here and he watches. So if you want to uh, just roll through the stop sign, you just go right ahead. I've seen him give all kinds of tickets here. All right, we're heading down a street called Penile now. Man, it's been a great day. Autopilot did a really fine job. I had to break out a couple times because uh, it did do the wrong thing, but it wasn't a uh, disastrous thing. 
worked out just fine. All right, I'll pick you guys up at home. We'll be there in a little while. We are back in the garage. What a neat day. I'll tell you what, having full self-driving version 12 at hand is awesome. It worked very well, as you know. It uh, I took it out a couple times, and it did one thing kind of odd, which I told it not to, and that was making the right turn on the yield stop sign, or I should say yield traffic light. It drove over the little berm that's there. It's not a curb. It's just a berm, and I said, nope. I took it out from there. And on the highway, on the way north, uh, I wanted to go uh, change lanes into the lane for the rest stop. And uh, even though it was marked with white dashed lines, the small ones, uh, the software apparently is not trained to recognize those. Other than that, it did a fantastic job. Uh, it's uh, only going to get better from here as 2 million cars report exceptions that will be trained into the software and my car will automatically learn what the other 2 million cars experience. That's really awesome. We've arrived back home with 20% our trips. We've driven 149 miles today. We burned up 41 kilowatt hours of energy at a rate of 278. Now, I will tell you, today's trip cost $4.20. That's 11 kilowatts per hour. It's a dollar and 10 cents times four, and I divided that number here. It's about $4.20 is what it cost us to drive 149 miles. Beat that with a fossil fuel vehicle. If you like full self-driving, and who wouldn't, at this stage it is awesome, give me a like. Please pass it on to your friends. In fact, anybody that disbelieves that full self-driving is a thing. You can watch them all over the internet. I will tell you that mine is uh, way better. Well, I don't know why, but it is. Please subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and pass it on to your friends. The referral link shown here at the bottom of the screen is my referral link that allows you to get a discount in purchasing your Tesla. And I get points out of the deal. I use those points for free supercharger miles, allowing me to take you places you've never been, especially here in the Tesla Model Y. Thank you for watching. I'll look for you in the next video and take care.